The smoke and mirrors approach in Prime Minister's questions is part of the problem that we need to address. So where we charge the police with serious failures to turn round and then say, well, since, 1920, since 2019, neighbourhood crime is down 25%. What he actually means is the report of neighbourhood crime is down by 25%, partly because there is no point in, in reporting a robbery because the police will do nothing. The police are not interested in getting our goods back. The police are not really interested in protecting us. The police will arrive after the event. So, yes, of course, reports are down by 25% because we know the police are too indolent, too lazy, too uninterested to actually help us. That is the issue. So I'm afraid um, Starmer is quite right. Starmer is quite right to say uh, that the Prime Minister stands there and pretends everything is fine. He is totally out of touch. Indeed, he is, but that is the nature of Prime Minister's t question times. And that will be the nature, I suspect, of the interrogation of Boris Johnson this afternoon. Lee Kane, the Lee Kane leaving party. You know, Boris could see. Boris lived above the, uh, lived above number 10. He could see perfectly well uh, that there was a party, even if his advisers were saying uh, that this was not. He didn't need to trust his advisers. He could see with his own eyes. His defence today will be that his advisers told him that wasn't the case. In the same way as Rishi Sunak defends the police by saying that um, neighbourhood crime is down. Boris, um, Rishi Sunak knows that the police are failing. In the same way that Boris could not have been unaware of the parties that were taking place in 10 Downing Street. We heard today of a person called Mick Bailey, who wrote to the government to ask advice about holding an office party. And he was told, you must not hold a work party. And yet two days later, uh, Boris was um, dishing out wine and cheese and exchanging gifts with people in number 10. That, he will say, was a work event, not a party. Well, how on earth can that be any different from the work party that Mick Bailey wanted to hold? I don't understand. We can't just use rhetoric to get us out of a difficult situation. We have to face the reality that lies behind the rhetoric. And while we are um, focused on playing games with words, while it, and it's not just the Prime Minister. It's not just the Prime Minister. Keir Starmer um, is, uh, is messing around with a tax on his own pension. You know... I don't see how you can hold your head up uh, when you are playing around with words. Words are a signal of what the reality is. If the reality is different to what the words say, it doesn't matter what the words are. The words are deceptive. We need plain, simple words to explain plain, simple facts. And when we start messing around with the words, we are breaking the structure of our law. Our law is based on words. If we play around with what words mean, we are breaking the fundamental bricks that hold the, the cement that holds our society together. If words do not mean what we say, words are useless. We might as well start scrawling um, hand paintings on the side of buildings and, uh, and pretending we've gone back to some sort of Neolithic age. Because Words either have meaning or they don't. And if we think that words have a di if I, if the, if if a word has a different meaning for me, to the meaning that it has for you, then that word is useless. And that's what we're going to hear this afternoon. That's what we are hearing today at the moment, uh, in the House of Commons. So, in response to the police report, Rishi Sunak is saying. Uh, crime is down 50%, violent crime is down 40%, burglary is down 56% since the Conservatives came into power. Why? Because nobody's reporting it. It doesn't mean the crime is down. It means the report of the crime is down. And, uh, and, and, and that doesn't answer the question about, um, uh, about whether the police are doing a, a job which is fit for purpose. We only have to look at the attack on the Indian High Commission to know that that is not the case. And this is why uh, countries like India are asking, have we become a state that is sponsoring terrorism? Are we sponsoring 
uh, actively sponsoring the terrorist organizations that are um, attacking states around the world. You know, are we sponsoring those organizations? Are we enabling those organizations? Uh, is that because that is definitely what India is thinking? That's definitely what Turkey is thinking, uh, with our support for PKK and with the U.S. support for PKK. We need to be much clearer about what we are doing. We cannot be saying one thing and doing something else. Either a word has, sink, has a, symbol, has a single, single simple meaning, or we're in the world of deception. The word either has a meaning or it's a lie.